Devin, I know it's only seven games in, but over here, sorry, um, giving up 37 points. Where would you say this team is comfort level, playing the pack line, chemistry? I know you'll get better as the year goes, but where are you right now? I think we're still in the midst of just trying to forge our identity as a team. It's early in the season, so I mean, uh, we st are still trying to, you know, make sure everybody's on the same page in terms of knowing what type of team we are. Kyle, in, in a span of five days, you've played three teams with very different styles from each other, Vandy, Rhode Island, and Wisconsin. To be able to come out, win all three games, you know, what do you think it says about the team's ability to adjust? Um, I think that's a testament to the coaching staff and getting us ready for all three different, very different opponents, and then testament to uh, our guys being disciplined enough to execute the game plan. Um, so I think that's a sign of maturity with uh, with, uh, like he said, us trying to find our identity, we still have the ability to uh, execute. It's pretty phenomenal. Uh, for both you guys, oh, what are you getting from Jack and Mama Day, and what do you need to get from them? And are you finding that you have more confidence in them offensively now? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. Even on even on the defensive end, I think that those two, or even Isaiah and the bigs that play, I think they were the MVPs of the game. Being able to um, that even though to hold Hap to 14 points and, you know, just to try to lock him down and go post trap and, you know, keep him away from scoring. I think those those guys did a heck of a job. So, and even on the offensive end too, we're, I mean, we're, we throw it down there and we're having, telling those guys to go ahead and make a play. Yeah, they've definitely earned the right to um, make plays in the post when they get it. Um, and again, they did tremendously on Hap. Um, and a lot of, you know, me and Dev's points came from their, second chance, uh, giving us a second chance and getting offensive rebounds and tip outs and stuff. So they played a hell of a game. Devin, you hit a shot with 10 and a half minutes left, go up by 16. Then you guys come back and you miss 10 straight shots. Of course, they missed like five or six during that run also. And I think they had other stretches where they missed like seven in a row, eight in a row. Is this just kind of one of those games because of the defensive philosophy of both teams that you just know you're going to have to endure those kind of stretches and, and work through it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, if you look at, that, I mean, this, there was 37 to 49. So, I mean, you can tell that was going to be the type of game where you just got to grind it. And uh, Coach Bennett told us in the, in the locker room before we go out, it's going to be the type of game where you just have to grind it out. And uh, so it was just getting stops. And, I mean, you miss shots, you keep taking them if you're wide open. Coach Bennett said when he was in here, he thought both teams looked tired mm -hmm. at the end. How big a physical grind was it to start in Brooklyn, play two games there, come back here and play with such a turnaround? Um, I think, what, what was it, three games in five days? So, I mean, we play, and we play back to back. So, I mean, just it's tough. You, we played three good teams in a row. So, just being able to, you know, sustain the effort level and the energy level and all that stuff is, is, is tough, but you got to find a way to battle it out. Yeah, uh, Kyle, you're, you you personally were, I think, seven for 11 inside the line. Have have you al always been that diverse, or is that something you worked on? Um, <laughs> I've always tried to be that way, especially in high school in my younger years, but. Um, definitely last year was a little more one-dimensional, and that was just, you know, something that all you guys know I've said a thousand times. I just try to work on this summer, and um, and I think it's starting to show. So Yeah, we, get, we gave them one dribble limit last year. <laughs> Devin, this is you guys' fourth straight. This is your fourth straight ACC Big Ten Challenge win. What does that mean? Just Does that add anything to this type of win, or is that something that you guys talk about afterwards where it's you're contributing your side of the, the, the bargain with the challenge? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's always good to play against, you know, that it's a heck of a conference. So being able to play against good teams and different conferences is always good. I mean, not necessarily going and saying, having bragging rights or whatever. I mean, th that's a good team. So, I mean, I always get up and look forward to playing against those teams and also watching other teams play too. Yep. Hey, Kyle, where would you say this team stands at this point in the season offensively? Um, and what are the positives and what needs to get better? Um, I think we all need to be a little bit more consistent. Um, and that goes, I mean, probably every team in America. But um, we've seen a lot of guys shine on different nights. So I really think that um, says a lot about, like, if I'm having an off-shooting night, someone else can go get a bucket. And, you know, Des been very consistent. So I think we have a lot of people who can score. Um, and it's just we find our identity that it will start being a little smoother.